What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to my first FIFA 20 play review. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated JJ Kotcha. Now if you don't know already, this is his middle base icon card. He does have a lower rated one at 85 that actually sells for more than this card surprisingly. This card is currently valued at around 300,000 coins on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and his 85 rated is actually 700,000 coins and the reason being is because that does have a lot more pace and it actually has better shooting even though it is lower rated but today we're going to be testing out this 87 rated seeing if it's anywhere near as good as the 85 for half the price. So looking at the in-game stats now he's got really nice acceleration at 87, the sprint speed is decent at 80 but for a winger i think that sort of pace would be better suited for a cam shooting on the face card stat at 79 doesn't look too good but when you look into more of the in-game stats he's got the 85 long shots along with the 81 shot power also his volleys and penalties are very nice the only thing that does let him down is that 73 finishing passing all round very good and you just have that 88 curve what is very helpful and then moving into the dribbling now he's got the 92 agility what is incredible the 92 dribbling and the 90 ball control so you can already imagine this card is absolutely insane at dribbling and then in the physical category this is the only thing that sort of lets him down he only has 60 strength why is not good at all but anyway guys this is the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for 87 rated Akacha, the first pro I could find with this card was his dribbling. Now this is expected with his card, as I said last year in my review this guy's ball control is insane, his dribbling is insane and he's one of those players who just glide along the pitch and this is why I love in FIFA when a skiller can just glide past players easily and even if unlike me you aren't very good at skill moves, this guy can beat players just with his dribbling alone um, without having to perform any skills. After that the next pro with this card was his free kicks. Now I only managed to score one free kick in this video and I am sort of still getting used to the new free kick system. All these goals were also scored within my first five games in FIFA 20 so I was a bit rusty. I was still getting used to the game working out what works and what doesn't. Um, so the level might not be the best but you know as the videos progress the goals will get better. Um, so as I was saying, this is the free kick. I did actually get a red time finish on it, but Akacha's free kicks are that good. It still did manage to go in. Uh, I've now got a lot better at free kicks though, as you'll see from my upcoming player reviews. Um, so that was his next pro. And then the final pro with this card was his passing. Now, as I've already mentioned, as a winger, or if you, even if you want to move this guy to a camming game, you know, having good passing is a very important on FIFA. And that's what he's good at doing. He's linking players up, making runs, beating players. He's just a very, very effective as an attacking player and I think he probably suits the cam position a bit more especially this card um, because of the lack of pace now we can do a job on the wing but I do think it will be utilized a lot better as a cam but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview so now moving into the overview for JJ Kotcha. On the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Now, as I've already mentioned, I love players on FIFA who have great shooting, what Akotcha does have in his free kicks and his long shots. His dribbling is insane, his agility is insane, and he's just an all-round very nice cam and attacking player. So I would definitely recommend to go and pick up this card if you do have the coins. He's going for around 300,000 at the moment. Now, a lot of people, you know, maybe looking at the face card stats would say this card isn't a 300 thousand coin card but in my opinion you have to remember that he is an icon card and he does get links to basically anyone so if you want to do a hybrid league squad or a hybrid squad i think a players like icons and players such as a culture would fit perfectly into them so after that the next thing we're going to rate him on is competitiveness and i've decided to give him an 8 out of 10 the reason it isn't any higher is just because of that 73 finishing and also the physical isn't the best but apart from that he is pretty decent and will definitely do a job in foot champs and then on the skilling category, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. As I already said, this guy glides across the pitch. He's got great agility, great ball control. All of the dribbling stats are very, very high. So I would definitely recommend to go and test him out if you do enjoy skilling. And then I think a fair overall racing for this Akachi card is an 8 out of 10. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 20 videos on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, 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 set a pace. Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty good.